let's get myself set up here. Holy cow, it is, it is early. I have, oh, messed up here, my setup here. I slept late, sorry about that, y'all. Good morning. Uh, let's see, I'm falling out of myself. Von Crowder here, Nick Knack Yak in the Mass Shack. Episode 24, it's July 16th, 2015. Um, this is Mystery Ziploc Bag Day. And you know why it's Mystery Ziploc Bag Day? Because I slept late. So, if you notice, um, we're on a little bit, a little bit um, later than normal. I hit the snooze button too much snooze button on, and then I turned over and then the iPhone read 449. I went, oh wait, something's supposed to happen here. So, we have Mystery Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. And lighting is all strange this morning. Whatever. You guys will be fine, right? Alright, I did manage to put on a little bit of lipstick, so I'm not completely, you know, I do have bed heads, so. Mm. Mystery Ziploc bag. So, we did a mystery Ziploc bag, I don't know, 10, 15 episodes ago, where I um, pulled out a Ziploc bag. I, for some reason, at one point, I started organizing things in some, I don't know, some way, and I put them in Ziploc bags as a little file system, put them in a box, one of those cute little, um, excuse me, orange boxes that I have over there, and I... Um, close the box and never looked in it again. So, we're going through um, occasionally a mystery Ziploc bag. So, today's mystery Ziploc bag has going for gold on one side and it looks like versatile stuff on the other side. So, mystery Ziploc. Let's see. First, oh wait, look. You know what? It's all one thing. Okay, so that's a lame conglomeration, although and it's a bag inside of a bag. So this is like a set inside of a set. Um, I, I totally have to write this down, right? Where's my copy? Sharpie? You're going to love this. So this is a set. You know the little curly brackets for a set? So that was our Ziploc bag. And here is another Ziploc bag, and it's got stuff in it. This is the mystery stuff. Dude, really? King Richard the dog, who is my co-host, dude, at KR the dog. All right, so ETA Cuisinaire is on the front of this. I'm going to let the dog out of the mash shack. Who knows what he wants? I'm back and let's open up the bag inside the bag the set inside this only set so by the way that's a singleton set even though the set inside the outside set is not a singleton right because it has a bunch of junk in it that we're fixing to investigate <clears throat> okay so let's look at the paper stuff first because get that out of the way going for gold worldscapes Australia Going for gold. Hey, it looks like a little book thing. Who is Kathy Freeman? Why was she chosen to light the flame at the Sydney Olympic Games? Read about the perseverance of the champion runner in her quest for an Olympic gold medal. Oh, it's like a well, What grade is this for? It's published by ETA Cuisinaire, which is now hand to mind, so we'll have to at mention them in the when we put this on YouTube. Give them some hearts. Tap, tap. I don't... 2005 is the... Anyway. So, can't find the grade level, but it looks like it has some big words. So, either it's for younger kids or old people. I can say that because I'm getting there myself. All right. So, now hands-on resources for parental and family involvement. Oh, look. It's my wheelhouse. Oh my goodness. Look at all that fancy stuff. It's very grown-uppy. 
Moving on. Ooh, three things. Whoop. Versa Mate. A fun strategy game for math skills practice. Oh, look, it's an app. I wonder if it's still available. Clearly, this stuff, you know, came to me a while back. Oh, look, it reads Versa Mate strikes. Versa Mate strikes the perfect balance between learning and play. This hands on strategy game combines proven skill building fractions practice with tactical gameplay that engages students. Proven skill building fractions practice. How many words can you put in front of fractions? Proven skill building and then one after practice with tactical gameplay. All right. We'll investigate that. That'll be interesting. Oh, look at the teeny weeny versatiles. I have one of these from another, it's like a, they're not called versatiles, they're from some toy thing. Little bitty versatiles that you can't open. It's a joke. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cute. It's a little bitty versatiles. I love it. So if you don't know anything about versatiles, oops, oops. Uh, I'm not the one to ask because clearly I have forgotten. Oh, right, right, right. I remember. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, this is part of the alphabet. There's a book someplace that you can buy or maybe something online. And it says, problem number one is a shoe. And over here, A through L is another shoe. And let's say that is H. So you go, oh, problem number one matches letter H. So you put one on the H like so. After you have all the answers in here, so 10 is gonna be that one see if I can do this so that they don't fall out and you can see 9, 12, keep your fingers crossed because this could get messy, 7, Woo! Now, of course, I'm making this up. If this were an actual game, if this were an actual playing of a game, we would be taking, you know, number 5 and going, what does 5 match with? Oh, 5 must match with C. And then, after it all, the student goes, I think I'm done. They close it up, flip it over, and then look. So, again, if this were an actual gameplay, you would be able to look at this pattern, and it should match with the pattern in the book. So it's what they call self-checking. So a kid can go, oh man, I didn't do that right. The pattern is off right in here, or I totally did that right. So <coughs> I've just never seen a teeny weeny one. That's cool. Okay, so last thing is one of the learning wrap ups. Another self checking thing. Hey, Radical Robin. Another self checking device. Um, this is multipli multiplying by seven. God, it sounds terrible. There's something going on with my... Ooh, someday we should talk about my clean canteen. It's now all beat up and not so shiny. Hey, I got a new computer yesterday, too. Okay, this is the times 7. So I look over here and I go 11 times 7. Start right here, 11 times 7 is 77 which is right there. So I'm going to wrap right there. And then I'm going to come back to this second one and go, what is that number? Four times seven is 28. So I find 28 over here. And then I come back to this one. And what's that number? Eight. Eight times seven. Ooh, this is the this is the interesting one. Five, six, seven, eight. Fifty-six equals seven times eight. So that's eight times seven is where's fifty-six? Right there. Now, 
you would continue this the whole way and once you're done if you flip it around if you notice I don't know if I could get oh here's the lighting see how there's little weird groovy looking things on the back well now notice that that is also a self-checking device see so once you have it all strung up and wound around then it should match this this little groove pattern it's actually a ridge not a groove but can't tell on camera so that's the um, learning wrap ups those are kind of cool too and so that completes the bag within the ziploc bag by the way within the mystery ziploc bag for this morning's Dink Knack Yak and the Mash Yak. This has been episode 24, late, but still here, on July 16th. Nick Knack Yak and the Mash Yak. If you want to see any other episodes from the past, go to math4.com slash periscope. Boink, 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 right there. And they're all listed in uh, reverse chronological order, so they're counted down because this is episode 24. Doesn't make any sense for me to start with episode 100 and then go backwards because then what do I do when I get to episode one? I have episode zero and episode negative one. Why not? But HTML doesn't like to do lists that way and it won't do it. Although I'm not sure. Now that's a, that's an interesting thing to to ponder and maybe do. Any coders out there? Can you code a list in HTML or in any code? a numbered list, an ordered list, oh well, that goes from negative numbers to positive numbers or the other way, counting by integers or even fractions. Can you have an ordered list in HTML counting by one halves? So there, there's your assignment. I do this every morning at 6 a.m. Eastern time where I talk about another uh, random thing in the math shack this little garden house thing that we've insulated and air conditioned, as you can hear up there. I am Von Crowder at Math4 on Periscope and every place else that you can figure out or find, learn. Well, anyway, I'm Von Crowder. I'm out. Y'all have a great day. Oh, yeah. Tap to give me some hearts. Okay. Have a good day. <laughs>